Hey guys, Auspicious here and welcome to episode 29 of my AS Monaco series. Um, this is of course the pre-season episode, as I like to do at the start of every season. Um, I haven't played the Trophy Des Champions yet, um, because I don't know why actually, because I just couldn't be bothered. Um, for whatever reason, I want to get more episodes out quickly, because I've been fairly slack in the recent weeks with uploading. Um, so anyway, let's have a look at the transfers brought in, first of all, as I like to do every preseason episode. Okay. Um, Alright, Alexei Korosoltev came in from Volska for 800k, which is the Ukrainian team. Um, as you can see, 18-year-old left back. I've had the deal set up for quite a few seasons. Um, decent pace, decent defensively. 15 determination, yeah, mentals are alright. And yeah, not too much else to mention about that. Could definitely develop him, flip him on in a few seasons if he doesn't actually work out to be um, anywhere near the level that um, the first team requires. Um, the next player brought in was Ignacio Lopez from uh, Chivas in Mexico for 9.75 mil. Uh, this player I was very familiar with um, being the Mexico national team manager, which you saw in the previous episode, um, the Gold Cup, of course. Um, he Featured quite heavily for me, playing um, in left wing and, of course, up front. Um, 20 years old, absolute beast, 18 finishing, decent pace on him, and very, very good mentals for a striker. Um, you can also play on the left wing if needed, but his crossing is quite, you know, pathetic for a winger, um, although I don't expect him to play there very often. Uh, the next player brought in was Marilio um, Fabiano, Brazilian, 20-year-old Brazilian from Barcelona. Um, he was in their B team, and he was moaning about game time or something like that. Um, so he wanted to move on. So I put an offer in for 6.25. Was it 6? Yeah, 6.75. Sorry, and um, yeah, he accepted. Very good flair, passing, first touch, and creativity needs a bit of work. Um, but he's a decent attacking midfield player, which is of course what I needed. I need some backup for Kenga for the season, and I think in a couple of seasons, a season or two maybe. Um, once he actually gets, you know, familiar with the team, will probably actually be better than Kanga. Uh, the next player I brought in, another deal I had set up, was for Dari Diello, who, if you remember from last season, actually scored, um, I think in both games against Valencians, um, against us. Um, so yeah, he was brought in for 1.3 mil. Again, he was transfer listed, and um, as you can see, I sent him out on loan to AC Ejecchio straight away, our feeder club. Um, very good pace, composure, determination. Um, I mean, his other stats are a bit low, but he is only 19 and can also play in that left wing role um, quite nicely as well. Um, the next player I brought in was, let me get this name right, I'll try my best, Apostolos Giannakopoulos. Oh, that was, <laughs> that sounded really awesome, but anyway. 18-year-old um, Greek right back. Um, he's not amazing. Um, I did have to... Um, bid fairly high because Arsenal were actually um, in the process of signing him, but he did come to us with 13k a week, which is obviously um, very high, but I did want another right back uh, prospect decent pace mm, could do a job um, but again, only 1.8 mil was spent, so I could probably flip him on in a few seasons for more than that. Uh, the next three players were simply signed um, to bring a profit in a season's time uh, the first being Eric Perea, um, just a you know decent striker, can play on either wing as well as as he's actually either footed, um, despite having really really crap dribbling. Um, but yeah, he's fairly developed all all the way around. He's 23 years old, good pace, good strength, um, and yeah, 23. Signed on a free transfer, um, valued at three or oh, 4.1, so I could probably sell him for about five plus mil, I would assume. Um, at the end of next season, I, I assume. Uh, the next player was a deal set up for ages, actually, um, which was Pepe. I think I put an offer in, um, a Bosman in for him to sign as soon as it was available, which I think is the 31st of December. So Pepe from Bisticas, uh 20-year-old Brazilian striker. Um, very, very good stats. Um, as you can see, good pace, composure's decent, off the ball's decent technique. It's got the attacking stats I need, the heading... Dribbling, finishing, first touch, as you um, would like in a striker. Um, Vade at 3.7, obviously got him on a free. Um, fairly low wages for a player of his quality as well. 
Um, will probably stay in the team, although I do have Lopez, who I assume would probably become a better player than him in the future. Uh, and the final free player I brought in was Fabian Sosa, a right back. Um, could play in the first team this season, um, as he is actually like fairly decent quality. Um, could also play left back. Um, he's accomplished an accomplished left back. Um, pace isn't out of this world, but he's got good going forward and very good defensively. So we'll see how he does. Um, if not, obviously I'll just sell him on next season. And the final player I brought in was uh, Joseph Prohoda, um, a decent little striker, 16-year-old um, Czech Republic striker. And yeah, 16 finishing, 19 determination, very good work rate um, off the ball, and his pace is fairly up there for a 16-year-old as well. Um, 600k, absolute bargain. Um, let's get into the outs now, and we have Karen, Kevin, sorry, Kevin Carew, um, player from the Youth Academy, um, played a few games, you know, was actually quite decent for one season, let me, let me find it, um, I think it was that season, no, that season there, no, that was the reserves, okay, um, I'm dreaming, um, let me see the reserves, must have been that season, um, he doesn't look like he scored many, but, um, I remembered him just having some really good games. Um, but anyway, obviously, with those performances, we sold him on for 2.6 mil. Um, nothing special. We then released our Paredes and Kesseb on free transfers before selling Chris uh, Mavinga to Anderlecht for 3.9 mil. Um, he was, of course, complaining about game time. Um, and we actually made a decent profit on him. As you can see, a 2.3 mil profit is fairly decent for a player of his age as well. Um, then came the sad moment. Obviously, this deal was already set up for Justin Stewart to be sold to Real Sociedad. Um, as you can see, an Australian player, obviously me being Australian, I always had a you know a soft spot for him. He actually turned into quite an amazing player. I mean, he's still only 22 and like 20 determination, but all his stats increased over the last you know season and a half. And he actually started playing for us um, despite always being on the bench from like the age of 18 or so. Um, so he was sold for 6.75. Dave Martin was also sold to Standard for 3.2 mil. Um, decent physicals and mentals, but his technicals were never there. And I never th really thought that he would actually um, go on to become anything amazing with those technical abilities, um, despite his age only being 18. He is fairly young. We then sold uh, Puriadu. Um, probably will regret this one. Um, he was sold to Ezid Alkmaar, the 18-year-old um, from our academy, yes. Um, prob uh, probably, will it, will, uh, probably will be disappointed um, with 1.7 mil on that. Um, I'm not sure if I actually got a 50% of next profit sale clause in. I'm, I'm not sure if I did. I might have. I can't really remember. The next player we sold was Bukhari, who went to Palmeiras for 2.7 mil. Um, decent center, center half, center back. Um, but yeah, never going to play for me, not good enough. So 2.7 mil, decent. We then sold Gilbert to Shem Shemos Nortes, or Nortier. Um, yeah, the Norwegian right winger. Again, never going to be good enough, so sold him on. We loaned Rocky Gordon out to Hiris, um FC, and Dario of Diallo, of course, out to Ezekio. Um, Simon Babiaro, the goalkeeper, went... Oh no, left back, sorry. Why did I think he was a goalkeeper? I have no idea. He went out on loan to FC Mess, the um, Coupe de France finalist of last season that we beat. Um, one season there, first team football should be absolutely amazing for his development. Kenneth Jensen went on loan to Guingamp, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully I get to sell him next season because he's pretty poor. We saw Marco Marion for 3.1 mil to Watford. Um, Prival was loaned out to ASN Etienne. Um, hopefully his develop will, you know, development will go well there with some first team football. We then sold Bruhog to Mold. Um, ne again, never going to feature. 20 years old already, so I don't really think um, he's going to, you know, advance too far. Tesserin was complaining about being loaned out, so I did put him on the loan list. And Montpellier, Montpellier, I should say, I should use my um, accent, not, yeah, my French accent. Um, a bit better. I actually didn't want to loan him out. Like, he was complaining, but I actually wanted to, you know, give him more of a first-team role this season. But anyway, um, of course, with all these strikers coming in, I decided to loan out um, Alari uh, again. bit disappointing because his pace has dropped since going out on loan, and he's actually still dropping. 
And he's now 21 years old, and, I mean, if he's not going to start next season, I may as well just sell him on. Like, I'm wasting his potential. Um, anyway, Aspelenberg was also sold, finally. You know, I've been trying to sell him for a few seasons. He went out to AA Gent in Belgium for one mil even. Um, and, yeah, goodbye. Um, Artur went on loan to Espanyol. Um, hopefully, next season, he can come back and actually play a few games. Um, would be nice for him to actually pick up Spanish citizenship, um, but I'm not that fussed with that. And Camden also was released on a free transfer. So we brought in 27.5 and spent 21, so we made a bit of a profit um, this transfer window, and I've been talking for ages, and I really don't want to talk anymore. But of course, we have the uh, Preston Fishers to go over very quickly. First up was Man City, a 2-0 away loss. Um, I don't know why I actually clicked on this. It's going to take forever. Anyway, Sterling and Chaloba um, scored their goals. We then faced Hull um, away again and drew nil all with them before meeting United on a neutral ground, which I assume is, yeah, it's a neutral ground. It's actually a home stadium, but anyway... We beat them 1-0, goal coming from Aubameyang and Ulrich picking up an injury, exactly what I want to see to my best player before the start of the season. We then faced uh, Dinamo, the Croatian team, I forget what they're called. Anyway, Kang out, Ersteprek, Brace and Pepe on the score sheet there for us before our final friendly game again against FC Karos. I'll always like to put in one of these games in. Um, just before the Trophy Des Champions. Charles Bassi with um, four goals, Kanga with four goals, Ersteprak, Lopez, my new signing, the Mexican, and one more for Aborma Yang. And of course that does leave us with the Trophy Des Champions, which I won't play today because I want to play it off camera. Um, hopefully we can actually, you know, win another piece of silverware. I would like to win it, beat Marseille. Um, who have been very impressive the last few seasons, especially the last season, you know, trumping us to that uh, to that league victory, really, you know, infuriated me because I still haven't won the league um, on this on this um, series, and it's it's really just bi like it's biting at me because like I'm I, like I've fallen in love with this Bonoko team, and I just want to win the league or the Champions League, either one. Like cups, they're nice to win, but you know, cups can be lucky. Anyway, this game will be played in Khao Lan, which is in Vietnam, I, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting, um, to say the least. And, um, as you can see, quite a few of my players are wanted by other clubs currently. Um, Gomez, Gonzalez, sorry, not Gomez, um, is wanted by Valencia, which is interesting. But anyway, um, that'll basically round this episode up, guys. If you could please give the video a like rating, it would be awesome. And head over to my channel and subscribe to stay up to date with all my Football Manager episodes. Goodbye, guys.